is Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be talking about five books that are kind of my reading bucket list for the year of 2018. So last year I did this and a lot of them did not happen so I condensed this down into only five books so those are the ones I'm going to be talking about today and these are books that I've been meaning to get to for a really long time and some of them I don't know too much about but I kind of want to go into them blind so let's jump into the stuff. First up here I have one that I get asked about all the time that is Misery by Stephen King which I really want to get to Misery this year. I feel like I am going to really like it. It's definitely one of his most popular works. It's his best-selling novelist Paul Sheldon has finally met his biggest fan. Her name is Annie Wicks and she's dismayed to discover, to discover Paul's plans to kill off Misery Chainstaw, the heroine of his beloved series. Annie is more than a rabid reader of me. She is Paul's nurse tending his shattered body after an automobile accident. She's also his captor imprisoning him in a, her isolated house where no one knows where he is. Wow, that sounds like fun. Why do all his books involve authors and car accidents? Next up here I have Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel. This is a literary fiction I believe. I don't really know exactly what this one is about but it's supposed to be magnificent, haunting, a beautiful unsettling book. Um, I, it says on the back that it takes place in the winter so hopefully I can get into this one in like January, February. But So I'm still reading it in the season but this book I've heard amazing things about. It's won a ton of awards and it says a darkly glittering novel about art, fame, and ambition set in the eerie days of civilized of civilization's collapse. Interesting. Fun. Can't wait. And the next one is one that I've been meaning to read and if I don't I feel like a lot of you guys are gonna bother me about it. <laughs> Basically The Stand by Stephen King. This was on my list last year which is really sad. It just scares me. <laughs> um, but I mean I read it this year so maybe like in 2018 I can read The Stand. I don't know much about this book and I've heard it's really good to go into it that way so I'm super looking forward to seeing how good this is apparently um, and yeah seems fun. I'm probably going to try to read it sooner in the year rather than later. The only book on this list that is not adult is Sand Girl by Rainbow Rowell. This is a YA contemporary. It deals with a girl who is going to college and I believe she has social anxiety and she writes fan fiction about this Harry Potter kind of thingy. I don't know there's a gay couple in it. They have a separate book for it um, but I'm really excited to read this. I've heard amazing things and it's a lot of people's favorite books so and it's a lot of people's favorite book ever so I'm super excited to read this especially because I love books that deal with mental health issues so I'm really looking forward to seeing how the social anxiety component is portrayed in this book. Another book that I was supposed to read last year is Middlesex by Jeffrey Hugenides. Um, I did read his other book this year, The Marriage Plot, and I really didn't like it, but Virgin Suicides is one of my favorite books ever, which I know most of you guys know that, but I'm really excited to get to Middlesex. Again, don't know too much about it, but I'm very excited to read it just because it's Jeffrey Hugenides, and I got this one for a really good price, and I own like three copies of this book and I haven't read it yet. That's a problem. <laughs> So there you guys have it. These are the books that I, come on camera, focus, that I hope to get to in the year of 2018. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you are enjoying the Vlogmas videos and I'll see you very, very soon, aka tomorrow with a new video. Bye!